Good afternoon, everyone. It's Chris. Today is Sunday. It's November 1st. It's a new month. Welcome to November. Today, wheat from Stampin' Up. I hope everyone is having a good day. So first I wanted to share the paper did in the Trimming the Town Suite. And the colors are Early Espresso, Misty Moonlight, Old Olive, Pool Party, and Poppy Parade. And white, of course. These are the colors, the designer series paper. I have the stamp set. I have the the dies. I keep my dies on. Um, I attach the sheet to my case. Other times I sheet separate from the case. So so um, there are some other things included in the suite, but um, I don't have everything in the suite, but I just wanted to share some projects that I made with the Coming Home Bundle and the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper. So I just wanted to show you the paper. We'll start with that. So, so this is one sheet. Also, in addition to making cards, I know a lot of people are perfect for scrapbooking. So here's one side. On this side is Poppy Parade with some white swirlies. Get two sheets of that. Then it's the houses. And this is the other side of the houses. The Misty Moonlight with the white snowflakes. And then you have the people in the town. The old olive diagonal stripe. The forest, I guess. And two sheets of poppy parade with white polka dots. Two sheets of this. There's a lot of words on the back. There's a, a lot of seasonal words in English, French, and German, which actually it coordinates with the October 2020. So there's two sheets of that. And then you have the, and the misty moonlight with the white stripes. So I because I want to highlight that with this sheet of paper, the dies will cut out these houses. The dies that are in the die set. So just so we have this die right here. The, this red house. We'll cut out this green, this old olive house, and also this poppy parade. Cut out this misty moonlight house. So this paper, um, I originally got this paper because of all the papers that are in the annual catalog. This is in the holiday catalog, the August to December mini catalog. So I was able to made with the paper I got in her DSP share. Two full packages. I just opened this package so I can show you the paper, but I have two for a lot. And the back of this paper, Misty Moonlight with White Stripes. And also, to mention, the trees. Can't forget the trees. This tree die cuts that tree. And then we have this smaller tree die eyes or if you like the fussy cut you could do that if you don't have it but I did fussy cut for a few of these projects because I wanted to 
use some houses that did not that the dies did not fit. So once again, that is the trimming the mini catalog. Um, that catalog is valid until you have any questions about the catalog or if you want to order at interwovencreationsbycrystal.com slash store to get my current host code. The host code will be entered into when a prize at the end of the month. Um, this is November, so you have 30 days to enter it into win some prizes. So our first card is this. The Coming Home stamp set. That is part of the Trimming the Town Suite. 12 stamps, but there are no sentiments for this stamp set. So I cherish the season. I will do a tutorial on this um, in a few weeks. Stamp set, I used a Merry Christmas on the outside of the projects. And I use now and throughout the year, I use that inside of all of the cards. I'm getting the sentiments from because this stamp set does not have any use this little smoke here um, I didn't use any of the other stamps because I to color the way I want to uh, Stampin' Up sells alcohol markers they're called Stampin' I have a few but I, my collection is not to the point where I can do a lot of different colors so I just decided that I would just cut the paper but this is um, um, as you see all I use is my little smoke here. I used parts is eight and a half by five and a half. This is Whisper White. I used the Winter Snow embossing folder. There's a 3D embossing folder. I have a die cutting and embossing machine. So this is the raised side. So I put my paper in face up. This is the front of the embossing folder, and then I ran it through my embossing machine. And this is just how I store. So we have, and this piece is, and then for the sentiment, this started out as one and a half by two and three quarters, and I just cut it out and I rounded the corners. And for the old olive cardstock, that's two inches by three and a quarter inches. So I used those dies I showed you to cut out my, and I cut out that house. And I used this die and I cut out house. And there's a die, here's a die for the wreath. I use this die to cut out the wreath. And then I use this small die when I make a project, I, I do it in an assembly line. So I cut out all my Whisper White cardstock and I run it through the embossing folder. I think I did about 10 of them. Stamp and um, I stamp on Whisper White in a bunch of different places, dies, and I just cut out different shapes. Just cut out, I just stamp on a big piece of paper and then I just take my dies. So I don't sit down and work on just one project at a time. Um, I work on I work on stamping. I work on a segment of a project so that when it's time to assemble the projects, I have a lot of pieces. So one day I just decided to play with the paper and the dies, and I used these dies and I cut out these pieces and some other pieces. And then I took another day just cut out some more. So, so that's how these are. And then for the inside, this is Whisper White cardstock. It's four by five fortune that came from the Cherish Season stamp set. And then I just cut a, a piece that is, um, I cut the measuring. I just wanted to make sure that I got a full wreath in and it's five and a quarter. This ink is Poppy Parade. This ink is Poppy Parade. Here's a, a tree ornament here. So let's assemble our card. And I added this trimmings embellishments. That's part of the suite 
Um, I've been using these for the eye for Merry Christmas. Here's the inside of the car. I usually work from the inside strip of the wreath, the designer series paper. And I just take it and place it on the bottom edge, hold it, place it straight. Oops, this is not going to fit here. Hmm, that's not, I cut it too short, so, but I'm going to do it this way. Measure twice, cut once, huh? So we, we say, so here is my corded at four and a quarter, right sides and a diagonal to make sure I adhere it. This cardstock. So that's our inside. There's a house. Then I have my trees and my wreath. So I use, the way I work it is that I put this, I set the scene down. I'm gonna do a different scene um, than the original. These tutorials, I'm, I am going to send out the Christmas cards that I make. Just have the houses in a different place. So, but the wreath will be last because I have the wreath on dimensional. So I'll wait until I attach so here's the first house. Make sure it's straight. I want the house to be leaning. And I'll do the second house. I'll put the, and then I'll fit the trees in the middle. The second house. And then I make sure I press down because since the background is embossed. I just have to make sure that everything is adhering properly. So my little tree, just need one strip here. And our second tree. Easy to put together. Um, I like to work as an assembly seat. So I want to make sure that at least all of my elements are we can just you know assemble quickly. So this is and diagonal. This is our front. And take a dimensional, a stamp and dimensional, and put that on the back of the wreath. And since the wreath is so small, I use these tweezers, dimensional on. And then I'll remove the backing. And so this time I'm gonna put the wreath on the larger house. So I just put it down, press it down, and then release the tweezers. And for our, this time, I'm not going to round the corners. I'm going to leave them like they are. And I'm going to put the, to attach the Whisper White layer to the eye. Oh. So that's our sentiment. I usually do one in each corner and one in the middle so the middle doesn't sag. And then we remove, those are 
something I always order. I just throw them in my cart. Or dependent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Um, I, and, um, I joined in August of 2020. Um, if you think that you want to order Stampin' Up! and you think you would order a lot of it, um, the starter kit is the best deal. So this is our first card and it's quick and it was simple. and after I put everything together that's when I fold it in half. I already scored it before I started assembling it but I like to have it flat because it's easier to work with. So that's our first card. So as and here's the envelope I've already stamped to go with it. The wreath, but for this, it's our second card. Um, one thing just to be mindful of, if you're mailing cards and you have a you know, just keep that in mind as you are creating. So that is, so as I was saying about the starter kit, the starter kit, $125 worth of Stampin' Up! product. Administrator, you don't have to do videos or whole workshops or get the 20% discount. I like a discount. That was the reason I joined using this as a creative outlet because I know a lot of people who are a lot of people who are struggling with COVID-19 and being quarantined. So this is a share my creativity, uplift people, get a discount. <laughs> um I do a lot of different crafts, so this is just another way for me to express my creativity. I did all of my envelopes the same way. Um, since I was in the inside sentiment, I figured I'd use this right here. This is Poppy Parade as well. So that's and so for this my cardstock this way. I oh more more nine times out of ten I think my cardstock the short way, like our first card. So I decided to do something different since the people are early espresso cardstock. This is four and a quarter by 11 and the score a series paper from the Trimming the Town designer series paper that I showed you it's by five and a quarter. The Whisper White cardstock, this was two and the Misty Moonlight cardstock started off as two and a half by three and a half. And uh, four by five and a quarter and this designer series poppy parade ink on the outside and just to show you i have from the hippo and friends uh, in a catalog the number is one five three five eight five if you're interested very sturdy magnet sheets that i keep some of my dies on keep them the number so i know if i need to order more or if someone's interested in it i know i can read item number so for the for the night layer i use the large die for die then second to largest die so that they could layer up like like that I like the stitching, so when it, whenever there's a, a stitch I list, because I like the um, the texture. That's one of the reasons I have, I like the, to, to your projects. And all the trimmings, embellishments. So, quick card. Um, I will probably have or so Christmas cards that I'll be sending out. So, um, I have a lot to do, so I need them to be quick. So I always start with the inside. So the inside, this is, these are our inside pieces. <laughs> All right. So yes, I cut it correctly. And then put it on the bottom because, because I use a sample of paper. The paper, I cut my layer first, and then there's usually a little piece left over for another piece of you know, visual interest inside the card. So, since
So that's our inside. This, this is the cardstock that had the old olive diagonal on the back, but I like the people. So, and another thing with the trimming the town suite, if you are interested, is in the August to the money from the suites and that money will go to charity. Charities that deal with foster care. Make sure the people are going the correct way. This is our front. So those are our people. And here are our sentiments. For my first card, I put this sentiments on. Those are probably my favorite, one of my favorite items. So do three strips of adhesive. This is the front. All right, I turn it over. One of each of these sides here, and one in the middle. smack dab in the center get my take your pick tool and we'll get our star I would like to cover the dot in the eye one above the Mary below so that is our card So now I have two more cards to send out for Christmas. I've already, I use the giving cards with the COVID, um, my husband's card. So I just want to show you the Trimming the Town Suite. August to December 2020 mini catalog. date is here somewhere 2021 so on page 24 and 25 there's paper it's right here the coming home bundle it's right here it's right here so the only thing I don't have is the ribbon combo pack so just want to make you aware of that so if, if you're interested in any of the products I featured today please visit my website, interwovencreationsbycrystal.com slash store, will be entered to win a prize at the end of the month. I think happy crafting.